But let's talk a little bit about debugging on Kubernetes now. So this is like, you know, you, you have a, a Kubernetes cluster that's running in like a staging environment or something like that. You have stuff running in it. You want to get in there and start debugging. How can you do that? So we'll go kind of in, in a similar process of doing things iteratively. So we'll do things the, the difficult way first and, and kind of get iteratively easier. So first, um, we want to try to copy the debugger into the pod and kind of execute things the way that we did with the first container example. So let's see what that looks like. So I have a, a cluster running um, already, uh, GKE. Um, so we should be able to see some pods running. Right. So I already have a few, I already have something running. So it's just a basic uh, deployment. Um, we can see the definition of it here. Um, it's just a, a service that, that exposes it and then a, a deployment which has um, a couple apps in there. Um, and and the, the service that's running is, is basically just the little uh, HTTP server that, that we showed before. Uh, but nothing really special here, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, so let's first kind of go into like copying the debugger into, uh, into the pod and, and executing it from that context. So this is a cluster that's running in, in GKE. This is not local or anything like that. So this kind of mimics what would happen in, in like a staging environment or something. So we've already created our service. Um, let's, let's copy our debugger into this pod and, and start trying to debug stuff. So let's say uh, kubectl. So kubectl also has a copy command. So we can copy uh, our um, delve binary into uh, this pod. And we want it to be here, just like in the container. So we've copied our, our, uh, our debugger there. Now let's try to execute it. So um, kubectl exec. And then we want to exec into the same pod. Um, and then let's just get a, a shell. So we have our shell. Um, let's try to run, uh, let's try to run our debugger. Right. So again, we get this, this issue with um, the, the security setting. So within a cluster deployment, so we, we saw how to fix this within just like a Docker run. So how do we fix this within a cluster deployment? Let's see. So we'll, we'll exit out of the exec context and we'll take another look at the, the service that we created. So when we specify the containers here, we don't specify anything about the security context. So like any additional capabilities or whatever we would like to add. And as we saw earlier, um, if we don't have the syscap ptrace capability, we won't have very much joy running the debugger. So let's add that. So within this, uh, this section, uh, let's add uh, security context. And add capabilities. Let's just tab this over, but let's let's actually replace this with sys ptrace. So we've modified our uh, our deployment spec to uh, add this um, the sys ptrace capability to the to the containers it runs in the pod. So if we go back over here and we say kubectl apply. Uh, service basic. Oh. Okay, so we apply that. Um, let's see that the rolling deployment has actually gone. So it looks like, um, yeah, so we've we've redeployed the rolling deployment worked. Um, so now let's let's try this again. So let's do um, since we have a new pod, we need to we need to kind of start at the beginning. So let's um, let's copy the the debugger back in um, and specify the new pod that we want to use. 
Let's exec back into it. Again, specifying our new pod. All right. And now we see the debugger actually works. So um, just a different way of adding, of kind of going through the, the local process that we went through with Docker, but on a bigger scale within, within a cluster. So um, we're still gonna have some of the same issues of like source code and stuff like that not being available, but we can apply the techniques that we used earlier to be able to solve a lot of this stuff. So let's get out of here. Let's not kill the process. Um, let's get out of the execution context. And then let's move on to the, the next um, technique. So...